in this lecture we will discuss some basics of graph theory we will discuss some basic terminology that is used like what is meant by a node what is meant by a path loop okay and next we will discuss what is meant by a tree and what is meant by a co-tree and lastly we will discuss the formula for number of links so what is meant by links also we will discuss so we will consider a network for the purpose of understanding how to derive a graph for a particular electrical network okay so here you have a dependent current source and here you have a voltage source we will now draw the graph for this so before drawing the graph it is important to identify the nodes what is meant by a node any point which connects two or more circuit elements okay so this is one node a this is one node we will name it as b and this node we will name as c and this node we will name as d okay so between a and b you have a resistor so we will draw a simple line okay so whenever you're converting from a network to a graph you just replace what are all the elements that are there between each node with a simple line okay so this is node a this is node b from b to c you have a current source a dependent current source so here b to c there is a link okay and from a to d you have a voltage source so we will take this point as d this will be the link this will be the branch now from c to d you have another resistor this resistor we will draw like this okay and from b to d you have another resistor so you have another branch here and this voltage source is from a to c so for this electrical network this is the graph now we can discuss some basic terms with respect to we will see the example take the example of this graph okay so first term that we are going to learn is what is meant by a node okay so node is any point at which two or more elements have a connection okay so here what are all the nodes a b c and d so you have four nodes in this graph next you have a branch so branch is nothing but one simple element okay between any two nodes so ad this here is one branch bd is one branch cd is one branch and ac is one branch okay so it is the line between any two nodes next we have a path so a path is any set of elements that may be traversed without passing through the same node twice so for example if you take this from a to b you are traveling from a you are traveling to b and from b you are traveling to d and from d you are traveling to c okay so this will become a path here a b d and c this will become a path the next term that we have is a loop so a loop is any closed path now okay. let us see you are traversing from a to b b to c c to d and then again to a okay so now a b c d and a this is a closed path okay so this will form a loop okay now the next term is a mesh now a mesh is any loop with no loop within it no loop inside it okay so if you are taking this a b c d a you can see that it has another loop inside it what is it a b d if you take a b d this is a loop that is inside the bigger loop a c d a right so a b d a is a mesh 
well a c d a a b c d a it is not a mesh it is only a loop so these are all the basic terms that we have learned next we will discuss what is meant by a tree and what is meant by a co-tree okay so a tree is any set of branches which does not have a loop and it connects every node okay so every node of the graph should be connected in a tree so these two conditions if they are satisfied then it, then that set of branches is called a tree so we will make use of the previous example this was the graph right here it is a b c and d now for this graph we will form a tree so this is a b c and d okay so you can see that this does not have any loop so this first condition is satisfied and it connects every node okay there are four nodes a b c and d and this is connecting all the four nodes okay so this will form a tree now let us take another example okay see this is a b c and d right now here you can see that all the nodes are being connected but there is a loop here okay so one of the conditions of a tree is not satisfied so this is not a tree now one important thing that you have to remember is the tree is not unique okay for a particular graph there can be many different types of trees so for example if you take these branches okay this is a b c and d so there is no loop in it and it connects all the nodes so this is also one example of a tree another example of a tree okay this is a b c and d so you can see that it is also connecting all the nodes and it does not have any loop so in this way many number of trees can be formed from a particular graph you just have to see that these two conditions are satisfied for it to be called as a tree next we will see what is meant by a co-tree so once you have understood what is meant by a tree then co-tree is very simple it is all the branches that are not part of the tree okay all the branches which are not part of the tree this is what forms the co-tree so in our example this was the entire graph right now here if you take the tree to be like this okay a b c and d then whatever are the remaining branches that are present which are not part of the tree that forms the co-tree okay so here in in this graph you can see that the solid lines form the tree while the dotted lines form the co-tree in other words you can see that a tree plus a co-tree this is node a b c and d so this is the tree and this is the co-tree if you add both of them you will get the graph so here you have to learn two important terms one is what is meant by a twig 
and the second is what is meant by a link okay so a twig is all the branches belonging to a tree okay so here ad ab bc they're all twigs okay and what is meant by a link links are the branches belonging to co tree okay so here bd cd and ac these are all forming links so one thing that you can remember here is the twigs and links will vary depending on the tree that we are taking so we just saw that there are many number of trees for a particular graph so depending on the tree one particular branch can become either a twig or it can become a link one more point that you can notice here is let us take another tree like this okay this is a b d and c so here you can see that in this tree there are three twigs okay three number of branches that are forming part of a tree and here also you have three number of twigs three number of branches that are forming part of a tree so the number of twigs that can be formed from a from any graph will be same in number similarly the number of links see whatever the tree that you're taking the number of links that you can get from a particular tree will be same in number whenever you are doing network analysis using graphs then one thing you have to keep in mind that the current sources okay any current sources that are present in the circuit they should not form part of the tree okay so you have to choose the tree in such a way that the current source is not a part of it okay it should form part of the co tree it should be present in the co tree and the voltage source it should be a part of tree okay it should not be a part of co tree it should be a part of tree so we have discussed some basic terminology we have also discussed tree and co tree okay so the last topic for this video is what is the number of links so links we have seen it is the branches that are forming part of the co tree now let us say for any particular graph there are b number of branches okay so the total branches is b and let n be the total number of nodes so here we have to find out the number of links so we have seen that tree plus co tree forms the entire graph okay so the number of twigs right the branches of the branches that are forming part of a tree are called twigs so the number of twigs plus the number of links links is branches that are forming part of the co tree will be equal to the total number of branches that are present in the graph right so we have seen that tree plus co tree gives a graph so from there we can see that the number of twigs plus the number of links will give you the number of branches so number of links will be equal to number of branches which is b minus number of twigs so we will see what is the number of twigs we will again take the help of the previous example okay this was the graph this is a b c and d okay and this is one of the trees that can be formed from the graph so a b 
C and D. Now here you have these nodes like this, right? A, B, C and D. Now the first twig, the first branch of the tree will make use of two nodes, A and D, okay? And consequently each extra branch, each extra twig will take one extra node. So this drawing this twig we are using this node B and drawing another twig we are using another node C. So the first twig will make use of two nodes and the subsequent twigs will use only one node. That means for n number of nodes you need n minus 1 number of twigs to connect the for the tree formation because you have to remember that the tree will connect all the nodes in the graph okay so if there are n nodes then all the n nodes are connected in the graph so we need n minus 1 twigs to form a tree so here in in our example we have how many nodes we have four nodes okay and you have three twigs ad ab and bc okay so any tree that you take there will be three twigs only so number of links we can write as b minus number of twigs is n minus 1 okay so we will write it here number of links we will take as l okay so l is equal to b minus n plus 1 okay so this is the number of links this is often asked in exams okay so it is easier to remember when you know how to derive this formula so now that we have discussed some basics of graph theory we will end this lecture with a past year gate question okay so here the question is a proper tree chosen for analyzing the network will contain the edges okay so you have to choose between these options which of these will be chosen should be chosen so that it will form a proper tree so that it will enable us to analyze the network okay so the network is also given and the corresponding graph is also given the answer to this question we will post in the comment section okay so if your answer is different let us know what is your doubt and the detailed solution we will give in the telegram group you can follow the link we will attach it in the comments as well as the description you can follow the link to the telegram and you can find out the detailed solution